Hello guys, in this video I will try to help you to look better online on Zoom. So stay tuned, listen to my intro now, what I want to tell you, why you need to be on Zoom better. And uh, stay tuned till, uh, it might be a long video, because it's not, it's not easy to explain everything in, the, in one or two minutes, but it's worth it. Stay here till the end and you will know how to look better online. How look better on zoom and how look better on uh, your networking meetings you will stand out from the crowd important here is you just about to close the deal you just about to close the deal with somebody where you will pay um, 10 grand or 100 grand if this deal will cost 100 grand all three presenters are through the zoom so you meet them you discuss them through the zoom so same prices same deal, same everything. Um, you happy with all three, but what you will choose? I will show you a few videos, and um, you will you will tell me which will impact you better. Which which guy you would choose if if that would be real situation? So let's start. This one. This one, or maybe this one, this day and age, coronavirus make us a zoom. So we're zooming, 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 and zooming, and we know the idea how we look online, how we present ourselves online, how we look for all the people. And do you know importance of the headshot? The same is now a zoom. Would you will meet a person where you will just about to close hundred thousand pound deal uh, with um, pajamas? Can you go with Jim Gear to close the deal, like hundred thousand pound or something like this? So very often people are using laptop cameras and um, laptop cameras for Zoom calls are probably the worst decision to use. If you don't have anything else, it's um, obviously it's better than nothing, isn't it? So you're using what you have. But most of us have phone. So you can use phone and I will show you today how you can use phone effectively to um, improve your zoom calls almost free well slight investment may be needed but everyone have phone that will be uh, main thing what you need uh, also if you don't have a phone with camera or you you can't invest any money to improve your calls consider few things when you're using uh, laptop cameras please when you have a laptop rise it up a little bit on uh, eye level or just a little bit below so something like this would be good so that's that's already improving a little bit how you look depends how you want to show yourself to the viewer uh, your camera placement will uh, can tell a big story about you. So, for example, if you're placing like this, a little bit down, so you are more powerful, you're more muscular, you have more authority. Uh, if someone consider like me, I'm always consider a little bit overweight. So if someone consider yourself overweight, lift the camera a little bit, just a little bit higher than your eye level. And if you tilt a little bit that way, you will look a little bit skinnier. So I, I like to place my cameras a little bit, always a little bit higher. So I look a little bit skinnier. I have my camera placed against the window so now I will turn other way and that's how I look when I place my camera uh, towards the window and my face um, 
not lighted up properly because it's underexposed. So lighting is key, especially if you're using the uh, virtual backgrounds. If light is no right, the virtual backgrounds will jump all the time, um, cut your ears, cut your hair, cut your uh, head. and So consider that, please. Make sure your face facing the window light. That alone will improve your quality of your videos a mile. Well, better than window light is something like this. The ring light. I love ring lights because they're very portable. So that's the HD camera from my laptop. And uh, I will switch now additional light, which is LED light. And that's how improving my uh, video straight away. But I don't want to mix two different sources of light. So I will switch this light off. Now you can see my video only with laptop camera and uh, one ring light, which I'll show you now how it looks. Do the simple ring light and it's for phone mounted on it. And I will show you later on how it works and why it's mounted there. So tell me, is that improving the video quality already? I think it is, yeah, because lighting is the most important factor on the video and the photography. See now, my face is lighter and my background is darker because how the light's failing. That will help your uh, virtual background stay more intact because they work on contrast. And it doesn't matter, do you have something behind you as a green screen or not obviously green screen will improve your quality of the video a mile but if you don't have a proper light you will never get the green screen work properly as well so best way to improve your video is a constant light like this something like a ring light or something like this on on ebay or amazon you can pick this i think for about 40 quid or something like this and the beauty of them is they have uh, uh, phone holders like that so how the phone can help you improve videos on the phone you have to use the back camera because you have much more megapixels you have uh, better quality of the video you have better focusing and uh, overall it's a camera much much better than the front camera but when you're using the back camera on your phone you will not see the screen so how you can do the zoom call without seeing the person which you're talking with or without seeing the meeting and i will show you this now how you can easy use your phone with your laptop and use your phone as a webcam amazing isn't it technology okay let's do it first of all you will need a holder and you will need you will need an app called uh, this epocam you have free version and you have paid version i think paid version it cost about seven pounds or something like this so you're launching this app and it launch your camera you have loads of settings there. I will not go through the settings. It also have settings for the green screen and the uh, uh, purple screen if you need to. Uh, but basically, you have an app on your phone and you have an app on your computer. And it works on both, I think, uh, on Windows computer and on Apple computer. And also, it works on uh, both on Apple devices and on uh, um, Android devices. So now how you will connect all this? I'll show you. So now I will introduce you to a couple of apps I'm using 
One is Hippocam from Elgato. Just go on the website, read, check everything you can download. Hippocam from uh, um, App Store. I'm not sure if it's working on Android. You will need to check on that yourself. But it works with OBS, it works with Microsoft Teams, Zoom and uh, other apps, other video apps. So, and also you need to install a driver on your computer. So it's a Mac OS or Windows OS. You can connect your iPhone through the Wi-Fi or through the uh, USB connection. And then you will need to set up your camera on your um, laptop. And that's it. You can read all instructions here. So I'm not will be going to much about it. You can use Epocam straight on your Zoom like this. Go into the Zoom, Preferences, Video, and you're choosing the Epocam. And here we go. We are here. Hello. You can see me now through the Epocam, which is connected to from my uh, iPhone to my laptop. And I think that's improving my uh, video quality. Now I will introduce you to OBS. And OBS is a free open source software, which is um, also will help you to improve your video quality on the Zoom um, consultations and the meetings with clients and networking and all sorts. So what do you do? You will go to Google. Let's switch that off. You will go to Google and type OBS and it called obsproject.com. You can go straight to there download and install your software download and install your software is a windows do you have mac or do you have linux so when you install your software you can you can start streaming so when you open first time your obs you will see something like this with one a big window Ignore loads of windows because I'm recording now my uh, screen, so that's why is a lot of windows here. You will not see a lot of windows like this. You will see one window, but I I love I love to have a studio mode, which helping me to see um, what I do on the left, and uh, uh, what is translating into the my Zoom or Skype or Facebook Live or something like that onto the right. So for example, I can get my epocam on the f on top and now i can see what i'm doing here on this epocam but my feed is still showing the screen recording if i want to show my epocam now to uh, to the zoom audience i only need to slide this slider to the right and it will appear here but I want, don't want to do this just now and uh, I will show you something on OBS what you can do so you can add the voices here what do you want to translate to your um, audience onto the Zoom or Skype or Facebook Live or something like this so basically you can, you can add display capture you can out, uh, add uh, audio input which is very important I will be talk about this later on. Um, now I everything recording on the um, Mac uh, microphones, and Mac microphones are not too bad, uh, thankfully. But I will show you how you can improve your um, your audio with professional audio settings as well. So you can add audio input. You can add display capture. You can add video capture device, and that's what. Uh, we will be using to add our epocam so you go into the display capture the voice i have epocam but i will an add another one uh, i click ok and we need to choose what you what we want to add 
for example we can add facetime hd so that's the laptop camera we can add uh, epocam or we can connect something um, something else to, to to the laptop and use it as a webcam for example i've been using my fujifilm uh, camera and so now we will go and ahead and add epocam as as you can see it's another window open here without any filters so we click ok and we have another slav here so hello from my new source added to epocam and if i slide the slider you will see exact the window on the right but it will stop recording my screen so that's why i'm not doing this currently i want to record the screen so here we go we add this one i switch it off now but and i will drag it down just to make sure in you know my way i'll click on that one and i will show you what i done here so basically it's the same same camera i add a little bit of filters so color correction um i can add a little bit of gamma and that will uh, make my face light a little bit that what that does that uh, lighten up shadows a little bit so good tip add a little bit of gamma and maybe just take a little bit of contrast down and yeah it might be it might be overall image maybe overall image you look a little bit less contrasty and maybe less nice but uh, your face will look better trust me so brightness i don't touch brightness but i taking the saturation just to slide down maybe minus 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 just to make sure my skin is no orangey and click close now we have this so basically if uh, if i slide this now to the right my picture will appear here so what we do we starting the virtual cam now and we heading to the zoom preferences video and instead of epocam we're choosing now obs virtual camera boom and what do you see now you see my recording screen if i go back to obs and like I said, if I drag down this slider, boom, you see Slav now, hello. And now you can see me through the, my iPhone connected to the uh, Zoom through the OBS. And it sounds very complicated, but trust me, it's not. It's quite easy. And if you need help, please uh, get in touch and I will help you to set up this step by step just to help you to improve your zoom calls and that's the cheapest version how you uh, can improve your zoom calls um, only using cheap led light your phone free obs software and uh, free or paid version epocam which is no cost and I have about seven pounds or something like this so here we go um now i want to show you how you can improve even more further and if you need professional virtual backgrounds um, you can use um, ben bowden is in my linkedin um, connections you can find it and i place the link um, under this video as well is a professional uh, designer so he can use he can design your professional um, virtual background so and if you if you after maybe something uh, real uh, real hand painted backdrops maybe uh, to put behind you and um, cover um, some stuff what you don't want to show um, on your zoom consultations or zoom networking meetings and um, yeah you can you can contact me and i can paint something for you um in your brand colors i can
can try to get as close as I can and uh, it will be lovely texture and you can use um, use it everywhere uh, on uh, virtual calls uh. So which one video you would choose, which one presenter you would choose, what is important to you? Is important to you when um, when you on a, a networking meeting or when you're meeting with person, it's important to you to see his face or her face? Is that important? And if you think uh, Corona will disappear suddenly, and if I, I hope that that's, that's will be the case, but if you think the Zoom will disappear, no. Zoom will stay forever now here. Zoom will be forever because people are lazy. People don't want to go to meet you in person now. In the, in the first couple of weeks, yes, they will be eager to, to see you in person, but um, usually they, they will, they, the Zoom will become an, another normal. So trust me, embrace this and you will be golden because you will be meeting on the Zoom every day, constantly till end of your life uh, maybe zoom will disappear another program will come and you will be meeting online all the time so start learning now that's that's future that's where you're gonna be and if you think you will be meeting now um, live i don't think so uh, it, it, it gonna be for friends for friendship yes but also, the Zoom opening so much possibilities. I talking now to different people. I selling my backdrops to to Austria, to USA, and uh, I talking to them through the Zoom. And it's amazing how technology can help us to do business in the other side of the world. And uh, it's important to look presentable. It is very very important. In this video, guys, I told you a lot of things uh, what you have to do. But, you know, truth is, you don't. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything what I told you here. Um, it just yeah, think about it. Uh, maybe, maybe you can help your viewers to see you better a little bit and you don't need this setup like mine which cost thousands and thousands with uh, you know proper lighting and um, dslr camera and stuff like this you don't need all that what you might consider to have um, a little light which help your viewer see your face better communicate with you better it's but it's it's up to you if you feel uncomfortable maybe maybe you don't need to do anything but if you want to be seen by other people you might consider a little bit um, to improve your video you don't have to be a lot um, simple lighting a simple maybe um, app to use on your phone which will help connect your video feed to your computer and send to the zoom that's it you know and uh, if you even don't have that just lift your laptop a little bit up on eye level um, don't look down switch off your ceiling light turn your face towards window and camera away from window you will be seen better and in my opinion that will definitely improve the quality of your communication with your potential buyer or maybe friend or maybe family and what i want to give you in this video it's a couple of tools to improve your visibility online a couple of tools to improve maybe your um, video skills and communications uh, with, with your customers that's all you don't have to do anything you don't have to if you don't want it's totally up to you so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate you being here i really appreciate you been watching this half an hour video almost if this video had any value for you please subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video click this bell button and uh, um, share this video with your friends 
I thank you very much for being here. And I see you soon again on the other side of the internet cable. Have a nice day.